experts for a look at how they make that decision. Criminal defense attorneys Darren Cavanoke and Janet Johnson. Okay, guys, we're going to break this down kind of like a game show. We like to call it like them or strike them. I'm going to play the juror's response from today. You're going to tell me if you would strike them or keep them. You guys ready? Let's ready, do this. Ryan. Hey, All right. Let's play the feud or <laughs> whatever. Feud. Okay. Bring it on, Darren. And so Janet gets the defense. Darren, you're the prosecutor. All right, first up, juror number G39, African-American woman, appears to be in her late 20s or early 30s. Take a listen. Make your decision only on what actually happens in the courtroom. Yes. Can you do that? I can do that. Is there any doubt in your mind that you can be uh, objective to both sides in this case? Um, no, there's no doubt in my mind. Okay. Well, you're not one of those regular TV watchers no. at 6 o'clock, you watch the news at 6.30? I avoid it like the plague, pretty much. I don't really follow news or any of that stuff. So, Darren, in the unfamiliar role as prosecutor, do you like or strike? Yeah, not a role I'm naturally suited for, but <laughs> I'm going to take this on. I know on this case, I'm going to strike her. Okay, why? I'm going to strike her because, as a prosecutor, I need unanimity. I need to get all, in this case, all six people agreeing with one another, or else it's no conviction. And I'm not getting a sense that she plays well with others. And that's something I really need if I'm the prosecutor in this case. Okay, so Janet, do you like her strike? Strike her. Ah, oh, she doesn't make it through. Why? <laughs> You know, I, I didn't like that, um, I know it's a little thing, but when he's asked if she could, you know, reserve judgment, if she could be fair, I, she said, um, and she oh, kind of hesitated. Oh, just the um, a lot of us do that. You're giving a speech, you say, <laughs> um, my next point, that's enough to get her kicked hey, off. this is, yeah, well, it's my client's life. If I'm the defense, and um speaks a thousand words, mm. and she was apathetic, and it's too serious for that kind of attitude, I think. Mm. Yeah, great point. The, the little things count in a case like this, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, next, juror G63. He's a male, he's mixed race, and he's in his 20s. Take a look. Most of what I hear from of the news is Facebook links, honestly. And that's not, not a very good way to do it, but most, most things that happen on the news don't affect me. I mean, even something like, I guess, the Boston Marathon bombing. Honestly, that doesn't have any impact on my life. Part of this case that came, became apparent to you was that it involved racial issues. Um, just tell me a bit more about that. It seems people, a lot of people just like throw, throw the idea that racism was involved somehow into it. And it seems like it's happened to like every case that's involved anybody who wasn't white, to be honest. Interesting. Darren, as a prosecutor, do you like or strike? I admire his candor and strike this guy. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> Yeah, you can't get him out of here fast enough for me. I need people who who believe that race is at the core of this case, people who are going to feel that Trayvon Martin was a victim, and his idea or his comments about race being injected places where it doesn't belong uh, really make me dislike this guy thoroughly, and he's a cold fish. This, this notion that the Boston Marathon bombings didn't affect me, too emotionally removed. Get this guy out of here. Oh, it's tough to be on these guys' jury, but I can see why on that one. All right, Janet, you like her strike? I love, I like him a lot. <laughs> okay, why? Yes, no surprise. Well, <laughs> no, yeah, and I actually was in the courtroom when he when he was talking. I had the, I'm in Sanford, and I was in there, and I thought this kid was fantastic. I walked out and I said, I love him. Uh, you know, first of all, obviously, the defense wants someone who doesn't believe race is part of this because that's the whole defense. O'Mara said it over and over. The defense has said, this is only about six minutes. It's not about race. It's not about race. But he also, you know, he doesn't like people protesting on either side. He wasn't clearly aligned with one side or the other. He just said, I don't like people having an opinion when I don't think they're fully informed. That's the definition of the presumption of innocence, and I think he's great for the defense. Okay, let's see if the defense fights for him. In this case, he could very well make it to the jury as could the other potential juror. Great job, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you, Ryan. All right. Now, folks...